Hey guys, this is Barbara's of Barbara's Gaming. Today we're taking a look at a new mouse that I got in. It's going to be the Key Idea G10. It's a nice little gaming mouse by an unknown company. Let's make them known. Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at a new mouse that I just received in a few days ago. This is called the Key Idea G10 by a company called Key Idea. Um, it features, of course, your left and your right buttons. It also features an anti-slip roller on the middle wheel. There is a 3D texture to it to prevent slippage. Um, you do have a forward button and a back button on the side of the mouse. We'll get to that in a second. And you do also have adjustable DPI buttons on the top of the mouse. The mouse does have a breathing function, and it does not seem like you can make that a solid light function. Um, at least I have not found out the way yet to have been messing with it for a few days now. Um, to start out with your standard functions for DPI, your settings you have for the very first setting you have 250 which it will light up red and will breathe red and for the second one it's going to be 2000 which lights up green. For the third is going to be 3000 which lights up blue and for the last one is 4000 that's going to light up purple. I've been using it. Um, I've been comfortable. I I have a um, 24-inch monitor, uh, 1080p settings. So I've been using the mouse in the 3000 DPI uh, on normal usage with my computer, but when I game, I drop it down to the 2000. I feel 2000 is like a perfect setting for this on gaming. So obviously it's going to differ on the size of your monitor and everything else. So let's take a look at the rest of the mouse. On the side of the mouse we have the forward button and back button. Um, they do have a little couple three bumps on them per button so that way it's got a little bit of texture to it. In the middle of the mouse here there is a gap which I have found to be very comfortable because when I when I place my hand on the mouse my hand naturally wants to go to that gap there on those two buttons. So a uh, really nice feature. Uh, as far as the lighting, you've got the Key Idea logo engraved on the back of the mouse, uh, laser engraved, and with the light showing through. You do have lighting on the DPI buttons, you have lighting on the scroll wheel, and you also have lighting on the side of the mouse here. Just on the left side, not on the right. On the sides of the mouse, you do have a kind of like a grippy texture. It's not too grippy, which would add discomfort, but it just seems like be just the right amount which I really enjoyed. <laughs> as far as the switches on the mouse, it does use Omron mechanical switches which are rated for 20 million clicks. Um, as you can tell, we'll take a look here, or we'll take a listen, and you'll be able to hear that the mouse is actually pretty audible. Uh, it's very loud, very defined clicks, and I actually really enjoy using the mouse, so let's take a listen. It seems, it doesn't seem that loud in the camera, but I can definitely tell it's, it's a little bit louder and that it's a more defined click, like you can actually, you really feel like you're clicking that mouse whenever you click those buttons because of those mechanical switches. And I do realize a lot of mouses use mechanical switches, but for some reason these, the clicks or the, the switches in this mouse seem to be a little bit more defined. Let's take a look at the packaging. This is the box that it came in, just a plain cardboard box with some designs on the outside. It does give you all the features model number, brand, and it does tell you, you know, contact us. <clears throat> On the back it gives you the specs. Um, don't be fooled, this does say RGB light. It's not RGB unless there's some hidden feature or hidden function that I haven't found yet. Um, it does feature a gold-plated USB head. Uh, it does have a Velcro strap to tie up the cable when you're not using it. Um, and it does come with a 12-month warranty. And it does weigh only 130 grams, so it's very it's a very light mouse. Um, as far as inside the packaging, all that came with it was just the bubble wrap, which I haven't popped yet, guys. I have not popped the bubble wrap yet. I'm waiting for a stressful time to use this bubble wrap. Um, but there's no instructions included with it, just the mouse inside the box. So currently you can pick this mouse up on Amazon for $19.99. Um, 
they also have a deal going where if you buy four mice, uh, you can get 15% off. Um, so if for some reason you need four mice, uh, there you go, you're 15% off. Like I said, right now you can pick it up for $19.99. The mouse currently does sit on um, Solo on its on the product's Amazon page. Uh, this is the only key idea product that there is, as far as I can tell. Um, or it's the only one on their Amazon page, at least. So again, you can pick this mouse up for $19.99 right now. Uh, as far as my impressions on the mouse, um, I actually find it very enjoyable to use. It's a very smooth scrolling mouse. It does have uh, Teflon padding, only two, but it does have them on the on the rear, or on the bottom back of the mouse and on the front. Uh, it does make for a very smooth scrolling experience. Um, as far as accuracy in the games, uh, very accurate. I've enjoyed using the mouse on, in, in games and just using the mouse in general. It's, been, it's a very comfortable fit in the hand and it, as you can tell by the design of the mouse it is ambidextrous besides the scroll buttons on the side here. I think it's worth picking up for 20 bucks. You can't go wrong if you're just looking for a new mouse. Um, the only other thing I forgot to mention is it is USB, or the USB cable is braided. So for that added protection, it is nice that it is uh, braided, and I do like that. So again, guys, this is the Key Idea G10. Good to pick it up on Amazon for 20 bucks. If you're interested, I'll put a, a link in the description below. That way it's easier for you to access to get to it. Um, but I, I think it's a solid mouse for 20 bucks. I don't think you can really go wrong with it. Like I said, I've been I've used it nonstop for the past few days, and it's been a very very functional mouse, and I greatly have enjoyed it. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you enjoy the content of my channel, please click the subscribe button. And if you wish wish to receive notifications on when I upload videos, just click that little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you can be notified. Again, guys, this is Barbos of Barbos Gaming. I greatly appreciate your time, and have a good day.